Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll turn a regular app icon into a beautiful glass style icon, just like this. We'll design the layers in Figma, polish them up in Icon Composer, and bring the final icon into Xcode to test it in action. If you are more comfortable with other tools, you can use Sketch, Photoshop, or Illustrator instead of Figma. Apple has provided icon templates for all of these platforms. Let's get started. First, open the app icon template provided by Apple in Figma. As you can see, it comes with reference lines and a background mask already set up for you. They've also included predefined layers where you can start designing. If your design is complex, feel free to use more than 4 layers, but Apple recommends sticking to 4 for the best glass effect results. Let me add my current icon here as a reference. My app icon basically consists of three rectangles, so I'll start by drawing the first one. Select the frame tool and draw a rectangle. Then I'll use the color drop tool to fill it using colors from my reference image. To match my existing icon, I'll also round the corners of the rectangle. You can always adjust your elements using your mouse or by entering exact values in the right hand panel for more precision. Let me also rename the frame to something more meaningful. For now, I'll move it under layer 1, which is one of the predefined layers provided by Apple, and continue working there. Once I've created all my elements, I'll separate them into their appropriate layers. Next, I'll copy the red rectangle and paste it into the same layer. I'll rename this one blue, and just like before, I'll use the color drop tool to pick the right color from my reference image. Now, all I need to adjust is the scale and the position. If it makes sense for your design, don't forget to lock the aspect ratio before scaling your element. I'll repeat the same steps for my yellow rectangle as well. Once that's done, it's time to reorder the elements and fine-tune their positions. When you are happy with your results, go ahead and separate your elements into layers. The first layer will be at the back, and the last layer will be at the front. Don't worry, you can always rename and reorder them later in Icon Composer. Let's export the layers we need. Select only the layers you've been working on, and make sure to exclude the reference and background layers. Then scroll all the way down in the right hand panel, you'll find the export section there. Go ahead and export your selection. Once the zip file is downloaded, open it up. Your layers will be inside that folder, ready to use in Icon Composer. Now open Apple's newly released tool, Icon Composer, and create a new document. All you need to do is drag and drop the layers we just prepared into Icon Composer. Right now, all the layers are in one group. I'm going to create separate groups so I can apply the glass effect to each rectangle individually. How many groups you create is totally up to you. It depends on the complexity of your design. As you can see, once I separated my layers into different groups, each one now has its own glass effect applied, ready to be configured individually. You can also change the background of the icon after selecting an icon from the left hand panel. On the right hand side, you'll find plenty of background options. For now, I'll go with the automatic option. You can also preview your icon against different backgrounds to see how it looks in various settings. If you need, you can toggle the reference layers back on for alignment help. Additionally, you can adjust the angle of the reflection light right here to fine-tune the glass effect. When you select a group, you can configure the blend mode, blur, and translucency effects from the right-hand panel. 
Apple has a great video that walks through all the configuration options in detail. You can check it out using the link in the description. You can also adjust individual layers within the group, which can be especially helpful if your group contains multiple layers. Icon Composer also lets you preview your app icon across different platforms. It's super helpful to see how it scales and adapts. For now, I'm happy with the design, so I'll go ahead and save it, either by selecting Save from the File menu or using the shortcut Command S. Let's open Xcode and bring in our new icon. Drag and drop the icon file we just saved directly into your project navigator, not into the Assets folder. When the Import window pops up, make sure your target is selected, then click Finish. You'll see the icon file added to your project. Next, go to your target's General tab and scroll down to the App Icons and Launch screen section. Click the three dots, then the plus icon to add a new icon, for both the debug and release versions of your app. Let's run the app and check out the results. By the way, if you have used SwiftUI's built-in design elements, your app will instantly reflect the new design. As you can see, the app icon has been updated and fits right in with the new iOS design. That's it! Thanks for watching and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to support us.